So, Baruch Hashem, very happy to sense and to feel that um, we're not alone on earth, that even though that we are totally, physically um, divided into individual bodies, there is a great unity um, between those bodies and there is a great spirit that is hovering upon us all and makes great connections. We can all see that amazing supervision of our maker, of the creator, on our lives, inside our thoughts, connecting people, connecting ideas, connecting visions, connecting hopes, and bringing all of them together to completion. Sometimes we're facing challenges, corrections that needs to um, to face and to take responsibility of and for. But in the end of the day, when we see that the Creator is helping us to deal with our lackings and to confront our fears and to stand tall and proud of ourselves, being the ones that we are, it gives a lot of comfort, a lot of power. It's like charging the battery for the next stage. It's written that many of the servants who are trying truly to serve Hashem, they have a great mistake. Even though that they are honest and sincere and truthful. Because sometimes they find themselves in dark places and because that in that darkness and of course that, that darkness is according to the person's life story for one person the darkness is financial difficulties for another person the darkness is fears and anxieties lack of confidence everyone and someone can find himself in such darkness that he feels that he's being attacked from all directions from 360 degrees so that's his darkness now when people feel that suddenly they are in that place of darkness they suspect themselves for falling they think to themselves that the fact that one day or one week or one year ago they were in a different stage they were in a different place when they were able to function and they were able to think right and they were able to do things in a better way to their perspective and to their understanding, it means that now they fell from their level because now they're not thinking so well and they're not able to make the same connections and not able to talk as they were before and they fall. They fall in their minds to think that they failed and that they fell from their level and that they're not holding in that place that they were before. But it is not the truth. And that is that mistake that I mentioned, that many people who are trying honestly to serve Hashem, and even though that they are honest people, they make that mistake many, many times. Because the fact is that there is a layer of darkness that separates between any two floors not only when you fall from your level down you experience darkness also when you climb and you go up from your level to the next you are forced to go through darkness because darkness surrounds creation there is darkness between every star and star in the sky and they are bright and they're shining and they're beautiful and when you skip from one to the next it does not mean that you fell and even though that when you were in that time of jumping, you were in space, in emptiness, in darkness, it does not mean that you failed or that you are a fallen star. It means only one thing, that you're on your journey and you need to hold on and you need to be honest and truthful. And that inner source of truth within you, the inner motor of love and passion to do good, will push you to the next stage and to succeed in the next level. Those darkness, dark hours are not representing a falling from your level. 
it's representing a change, a shift. And now you can aim your heart to higher places and then you will rise. And if you fall to sadness and despair because of that darkness, you might really fall. So be cautious, be careful, be strong and successful and positive and we shall all rise together, united, bond to each other as one with great love and with the blessing of our Maker, we will fly high and succeed always and experience the great redemption in our days. Amen. May it be His will today.